Hey guys, it's Eden. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm here for another favorites video. You guys seem to like the last one, but asked for more of like my WW and food favorites. So I included more of that in this video. This isn't like extensive by any means, only stuff that I've been loving since my last favorites video, which has been about a month since then. So let's get started. We'll start with the lifestyle stuff and then I'll put um, like the food favorites at the end. Number one, this Laneige Night Sleeping Mask, I think is what it's called. Lip Sleeping Mask. I got it in vanilla. I hauled this maybe two months ago. I've used quite a lot of it, um, and it's amazing. I have it on right now. It's nice for during the day if you don't want to put on lip gloss or whatever, but you still just want some moisture. It's really nice. It's not sticky. Very moisturizing. I've used it every night for two months. It's pretty inexpensive and the fact that, has it been two months? It's been pretty close to two months. Um, the fact that it's lasted me so long and I'm nowhere near the end, I thought it was worth recommending. They have a couple of different flavors. I think they have maybe a strawberry, maybe a rose. I'm not sure if those are tinted or not. I wouldn't think so since they're sleeping masks, but mine's just va vanilla. The next thing is this cleansing oil balm from Burt's Bees. I just picked this up from Target, as you can see. I've used it a lot. It smells very natural. It doesn't feel like it has much of a fragrance at all, but this makes your skin glow like heck. And it's pretty gentle on the eyes. It's just, you put in your, um, hands rub it up it turns into an oil and then you just rub it all over and it takes off all your makeup i swipe it off with a towel and then my skin looks so glowy and beautiful sometimes i feel like i don't even need to do anything else to my face after that but usually i just finish it with a little bit of my tea tree water toner and then some kind of oil but i have been loving this cleansing oil balm from burt's bees and i'll try to link it um down below through target and it is a newer item to the Burt's Bees face cleanser line. The next thing is a brow product. I know I raved about the Anastasia brow product last month, but some of you guys tried it and then you messaged me and you're like, that stuff is so pigmented. And you're right, it's super duper pigmented and it can be harder to work with if you're like not a makeup girl. So this is the CoverGirl one. This is what I have on now, and I swap back and forth between the two. CoverGirl had sent this to me um, last year sometime when they released it. It is vegan, it's cruelty-free, and I repurchased it at Target. It's so much cheaper. It's like $5.99. It lasts a really long time. It does have a little bit of brow fibers in it, so you have to kind of you know, be mindful when you're putting it on or if you're a contact wearer, but it's really good. And it's the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. And I really like it. It's nice that it's super accessible. You can just pick it up at Target. Same thing with that Burt's Bees. And it just looks really good and natural. I wear the darkest color, which is deep. You guys know I was on an hourglass pick for a while, but I'm trying to be on a budget. So this is the Essence Lash Princess. I used to use this all the time. For years, I used this Essence Lash Princess. And I saw someone talk about it recently and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go back to that. I will say I don't like it as much as the Hourglass, but it's like $5 instead of 28. And I do think my lashes still look really good. I just have to do two coats versus one. So I really like this. Two more lip products, I know. The Fenty Gloss Balms. I've had these for so long. I always repurchase them. They're so good. I like the original one the most, which is the Fenty Glow, but I also have Fussy. This one's Fussy, this one's Fenty Glow. Let me swatch them. Um, but anytime that I wear these, I get so many compliments of people like, oh, your gloss looks so good, and they're super comfortable, they don't feel super glittery, and everyone that I know loves these. They're like, like everything that Rihanna does, it's like universally beautiful on everyone. That's the Fenty Glow, that's the Fussy, and I just really like them. Dove, soap, 
so simple if you guys have been watching the vlog since the beginning of quarantine you know that my grandma sent me this soap she sent me a bunch of soap so I've been trying not to buy any new body wash I'm like I need to go through this soap that my grandma sent me she didn't like it because she prefers ivory over dove this is the dove go fresh beauty bar and it's like a pear scent but I really love it I feel like my skin has been so much more moist so much more moisturized when I use this and it's super cheap dove is cruelty free now so I love that and yeah, super cheap, super nice. It spreads on your washcloth really well. Nice amount of foam. Smells really good. And it keeps my skin a little bit more moisturized. So yeah, this thing. <laughs> it's by the brand Koo House. It's the same brand that makes my kettle in my kitchen. They sell it at H Mart. I'm sorry, I can't link this. If you have an H Mart in your area, they probably have this. It's like the brand that they sell in-house. Their air fryers are this brand. The kettles, like a lot of rice cookers, anything electronic is usually this brand in H Mart. And you plug it in and it's just a massager. And it's so nice. It has a 10 speed. I usually keep it around three to seven, depending on what I'm doing. And if my legs are super sore after a workout, I turn it on like three to five and I just massage it up and down my quad like this and it vibrates and it's so so nice I also put my ankle on it and let my ankle shake since your ankles are low circulatory areas just in general I do that because varicose veins run in my family and if you increase circulation it's like a less chance that you'll get varicose veins same things with the yoga pose leg up the wall so if you lay on your back and put your legs up the wall that kind of encourages back flow of the blood to get your ankles back into your circulatory system um so this is just another version of that so i use it for that i use it on my shoulders it's just so nice and it was 30 bucks like I feel like all of those like athletic massagers are like $70. Who has $70 to just drop? So, I mean, I guess I could, <laughs> but this one was just fine and it's from the Asian market, H Mart, and I love it, it's great. Last lifestyle thing. These are my Lola Getz sports bra. This is the back, this is the front. It has like a gentle deep V. I have so many of these sports bras and I've learned to really appreciate them. Typically I like a longer line sports bra, so these ones come like right under the bust. But what I really like is that they're full back. I love the strappy, it's so cute. But a lot of the time, my rolls just start to eat the straps. And although there's some brands that do strappy backs really well, like Beyond Yoga, Fabletics does some strappy backs really well. Um, on occasion torrid but sometimes even torrid your rolls will start start to eat them so I just really like the nice full supportive back on these it's really nice they're not outrageously expensive I have a discount code down below but yeah really like them two non tangible things um the show in the dark I finished it I watched that on Netflix it was very good and the audiobook um, everything is figure outable I had bought that book and then I returned it and then I bought it again and I really liked it I finished it um, this isn't sponsored by audible although audible has sponsored my channel multiple times in the past um, audible.com slash Eden you'll get a free month free audiobook um, and unlimited audible originals I believe now but um, yeah I just really like that book everything is figure outable I love the journal prompts in that book and I've been using them so maybe you will like it too food faves yasso bars love yasso bars they're good source of protein low in fat no sugar alcohols or artificial sweeteners and they have live and active cultures I know they have other flavors I've had the chocolate brownie I've had the salted caramel um, I didn't like the cookies and cream the base tasted kind of spoiled on that one um, so now I'm kind of afraid of the vanilla base ones, but this one is very good It's also the lowest in points because it doesn't have a bunch of chunks of stuff in it like the other ones But they're very good. I like them also honorable mention to the kind frozen bars I accidentally threw out the box. Sorry, <laughs> but those are very good too They taste like a Snickers ice cream bar and I really love those so 
love these three points on dub dub if you follow the plan flavored pb co i've been talking about them a lot happy healthy Haley on tiktok was the first person i saw talk about them and they were sold out forever but they are getting their production up now to meet the demand and i really like it this is the churro flavor this is the salted caramel crunch it has little pieces of toffee in it this one is not vegan but this one is I really like them. I like to do a cup of almond milk, a frozen banana, and two scoops of this at the end of the night. It's like a milkshake. It's so, so good. If I could eat apples, I can't. I would love to dip apples in this. It would be so, so good. Like apple nachos with this. Oh my gosh, amazing. It's good on bananas, good on pancakes, good. I like to dip cherries and stuff in them. It's just a nice alternative to pb2 it's two points for two tablespoons so a little bit higher in points but totally worth it and they're a nice small business i really like them so flavored pb co nut butter powder i had to do it i had to pumpkin spice premier protein i love premier protein i've been drinking it in my coffee since march and they have the pumpkin out seasonally. I had to tell you guys because it sells out. If you read the reviews on their website, everyone's like, please make it year round, please make it year round. They're not gonna do that. So if you want it, buy it. I think it lasts until August, 2021. So about the time that it launches next year. So if you want some to have around, buy some cases, ration it throughout the year. I'm telling you now. And they also reached out to me about another seasonal flavor that they're releasing. They didn't know that Sagittarius's are really bad at keeping secrets, clearly, but they have a new flavor. As soon as I'm allowed to say it, I will tell you guys, it sounds delicious. I hope that it's gonna be delicious. I just hope they don't become one of those brands that releases tons of new flavors. I want them to stick to the things that they do well and that are delicious and not like hype up new flavors all the time. Just only release really good, genuinely good flavors like this one, so. This is good. I'll update you once I know about the other flavor and okay. <laughs> the next thing, this is also like a coffee thing for me. And I also just like to drizzle this on stuff. It's the Smucker's Sugar Free Sunday um, Syrup. And it's just really good. It tastes like the Starbucks caramel. You can get the non-sugar free one. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just telling you that this is an option if you like Starbucks caramel. They have this one in the non like whatever sugar-free one i think other brands make it too like this kind of drizzle situation but it's just so good you feel like a barista at home it's super cheap you can get it at walmart i think i got mine on nutrition because that's where i ordered my pasta and i just wanted free shipping so i ordered more stuff from there but this is the second bottle that i've had since i've been on dub dub it does last me quite a while it's sweetened with splenda and splenda tends to be tummy friendly for me so yeah Oh, this one's a big boy. This is my soda stream. If you like sparkling water, I think investing in a soda stream is worth it. It does have a little tank, and you don't even have to buy the tank every time. You empty a tank, then you take it up to Target, and you're like, oh, I need to exchange just like you would a propane tank. And you don't have to pay full price for the tank replacement. It's like cheaper for you to go in and exchange it, which I really love now. Since getting this, a lot of you guys told me that SodaStream has like a shady history. So maybe I don't like recommend SodaStream as a company, but I recommend a sparkling water maker. Mine was a gift from my old boss. I really like it. I enjoy it. I've gotten tons of use out of it. I do buy sparkling water sometimes too, but this is just really convenient, honestly. And you can get it a little bit more fizzy. Like I like very, very fizzy. So um, sometimes the cans, it can be like hit or miss on how fizzy a brand is. But with this, I can always customize my fizz. So yeah, this is my soda stream. It's like one of the older models. I got this maybe three years ago. I lived with my old roommate Sarah when I got it. So it must have been quite a while ago. But I really suggest this if you like sparkling water. And that is all. That is my monthly favorites for dub dub food, lifestyle stuff. I hope you guys see some things that you might want to work into your life. Obviously, the point of these videos aren't for you to go ham shopping. It's just kind of to tell you what I've been enjoying, why I've still kind of been in quarantine. Well, 
definitely mostly in quarantine and just the stuff that's been making my life a little bit more joyful and my lips a little bit more moisturized <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed i'll link everything down below and until next time thank you so much for watching and remember to keep an open mind keep an open heart practice unconditional compassion but don't take shit from anyone i love you guys endlessly and i hope you love yourselves even more we'll talk really soon bye when your world ain't